The watermelon did it again, everybody. Drama Monday. Donkey Army, we are now at DEFCON 10. Anthony Champano, the world's most horrible music critic, has done it again. He has uploaded another incorrect review yesterday. He reviewed my new rap song, which is one of the best songs that you can hear. I spent years coming up with the lyrics for this. Years coming up with the beats for this. What score did he give it? Well, what score do you think he gave it? Feeling a decent to strong seven on this record. That's right. A seven. A fucking seven. As an added insult, Flantano also wore his famous yellow checkers shirt that he only wears to give out a 10 score. So he's trying to deflect my people with this thumbnail while really truly giving my song a 7 out of 10. This is not the first time Shamtano has given out incorrect reviews. He famously gave The Wall a 7. He gave Off the Wall a 7. Peter Frampton got a 7. Sly Stone got a 7. Al Green got a 7. Inner Visions got a 7. Voodoo got a 7. Black Messiah, the very best of Prince, he gave that shit a 7. Marvin Gaye got a 7. So in a way, a 7 is the highest honor he can bestow. But at the same time, this is a goddamn outrage and an insult to my legacy. This is a chicken wing, green eggs and jam, money money man, just on the strength of my discography. I should get a 0.3 bonus multiplier, it's only fair to me. Secondly, Fantano only listens to rap music. This is true. I have said this before, I am not a rapper. My songs are not rap songs. This is a new genre called rapid rhyming. It's very strand-like in that sense. I think a lot of my lyrics are coming at you so fast that Fantano hasn't even been able to process them yet. One of the first things Fantano says is that my song is an ad for Geico and Sabaro. This is simply not true. The only thing I'm truly advertising here is donkeyscastle.com, which is one of the best websites that you can buy merchandise from. When I'm talking about Geico, what I'm actually referencing here is the classic video game of Gex, and by extension, the spin-off character, the Goker, who is known to be one of the greatest voices in the rap industry. Fintano's dig at the Sabaro franchise and the quality of their food only goes on to illustrate how he is also the internet's most horrible food critic of all time. Anybody who lives in New York understands that if you want true New York style pizza, you have to go to the Sabaro in Ohio in the mall's food court. This is also a reference to the television series The Office, which Fantano gave a where I tie this all together, though, is this line with Donald Draper, who was a fictional character from another workplace drama like The Office called Mad Men. Donald Draper is an advertising executive. He's rich, he gets with all the ladies, but ultimately he lives a very hollow life. His relationships with people are dampened through a layer of false pretense, and his entire life's work is to merely advance the stranglehold of faceless, morally bankrupt corporations. Just like Fantano, Donald John Draper is all about money and bitches, but me, I'm going ham. Now who is the actor who plays Donald Draper? John Hamm, an actor, an artist. You see, I'm drawing a line between the real and fake. Donald Draper is a fictional character who stands for nothing. He is fake, whereas John Hamm is the actual human being playing this character. He is a real person. Now watch this. Fantano, what's your favorite video games? The Space Jam. Also Among Us? Overall, I'm feeling a light to week 7 on Fantano's review of my new rap song, Transition. Hey everybody, it's me, Anthony Fantano. Here I am in my true form. Don't drop me on the floor in the grocery store. Remember to hit the bell and jump on my shell. Did you hate it? Where you rate it? Do you like this video? Don't cry. Go ahead and tell me in the comments what album do you want me to give a 7 to next.